Hey everyone, I wanted to show you guys something that I've been looking into recently and my research isn't finished, but I thought I should come and share what I found with you, found with you. So I've been buying ground beef and usually the store has 73% um, by 27% ground beef. And for those who don't know what that is, it is the beef compared to the fat content. So the higher the number beef content the less fat and vice versa so here we have the packaging and this is not fancy ground beef or anything grass-fed organic or anything like that but the concept is still the same if you think about it so we have advertised five pounds 24 5.24 pounds at 219 a pound which went up in the last two weeks, but that's neither here nor there. I paid $11.48 and I weighed it on my scale and indeed that five pounds, 5.24 pounds was correct. That is apart from the packaging. So I cooked the ground beef like I normally do and I drained it like I normally do. But this time around, I weighed it to see what was actually left after the cooking process so here we have the fat and juices as you can see they kind of separated there and i weighed that and the fat and juices are 1.37 pounds i did not weigh my containers or anything i zeroed out so it is indeed just the um fat and juices and i did the same thing with my beef i didn't weigh my bowl just the actual meat of itself and the meat came up to 3.4 pounds. So I did my tallying and everything and combined the numbers I came up with are 4.77 pounds. And I was thinking, wow, what happened to that 0.47 um, pounds, almost half a pound. And then I figured, okay, well, yes, we're heating something up so there has to be some sort of evaporation process of the liquids that are going and also there's cleaning factors. So I didn't lose any meat, like meat didn't spill anywhere where it didn't add up. Um, but when you use the bowl of grease and when I was separating those things, you have that kind of film, you still have that lining. So there is some loss in grease, not necessarily meat, but in grease. So I figure that's where that 0.47 uh, went. But needless to say, for this particular 73 by 27 percent um, fat to meat, meat to fat content, that you're only getting that three pounds, 3.40 pounds of actual meat. So I'm interested to see as the percentages go up, because sometimes you don't necessarily think of percentages. We really just think about, okay, well, how much meat do I actually have? So for me, with the juices and the, the fat, I do incorporate a little bit back into the meat depending on what I'm going to make. So on this um, menu for the next two weeks, I do have chili. So I do add a little bit back into that. Um, so it all depends on what you're gonna use. You may use that fat in it to kind of juice things up in your, in your meal. But if you were to use this cut not cut if you were to use this percentage in um hamburgers i wouldn't do that you know because you have you know this so you make your patties like this big and then by the time everything comes out you know your patties look like hockey pucks it's just not worth doing that because you lose a bunch of meat compared to what your bun is going to look like you know so i think this 73 put this 73 percent by 27 percent is good when it comes to certain meals of course it's not as expensive as if you buy a higher percentage but I just wanted to share with you guys how much meat you actually get with these 73% by 27% meat to fat ratio all right I hope you guys enjoy this video thank you for joining me if you are not already subscribed please do so and I'll see you in the next one bye bye